Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video and we've got new patch notes. Um, this is my very first time looking at these patch notes, so, you know, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Getting new skins, you know, no one really cares about skins. By the way, this patch was not really supposed to release now, but I think they accidentally released it. So that's why, you know, like, I'm making an early video on it. So accessories, skins, blah. Wait, actually, is there a Jin skin? Okay, Project Jin. This is the only skin I care about. It's coming on December 29th. You guys know I'm gonna play Jin uh, again. So, you know, blah, 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 events, champion changes. Okay, w wait, wait, wait. Uh, what am I expecting? I'm expecting a kill nerf, 100% a kill nerf, Lee Sin nerf, uh, uh, Jin buff, please buff Jin guys, and anything else? I mean, yes, but let's just get into it. So Akshan, oh, Akshan should probably get nerfed. Uh, Akshan players have a good grab on his playstyle, he's also been able to swing into multiple lanes because blah blah blah, he's just really strong, they're reducing his base damage. And Avangerank, that's his first ability, reducing the damage as well. Hmm. I mean, the base the base attack nerf is quite substantial, We're gonna make him significantly weaker in the early game, but he's still gonna skill just as well into the late game, basically. Amumu, I think he's gonna get buffed, right? <coughs> we were a bit too cautious with our previous Amumu changes, we didn't want to overwhelm him with too many new friends, we're giving back some of the stats, oh that's good, wait, this might make Amumu viable actually. His base health goes from 570 to 650, you know, back, he's... He's back to his old tankiness, and his base armor goes from 30 to 35. Hmm, is Amumu gonna be viable now? I, I haven't made a single Amumu video yet. Maybe I should. Wait a minute, maybe I should, we'll see. So his first ability... Oh, nice, it's getting buffed as well. The cooldown reduction is getting buffed, and base damage is also getting buffed. This is a little buff, but yeah, you know, might make him viable. Oh, Camille should get nerfed, definitely, she's way too strong. Camille players that master her position can dominate the laning phase and take over a game with her roaming and scaling. We're cutting down on the frequency of her passive, so she has to be even more precise and decisive for the trading in lane. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Like, that stupid shield of hers. Yeah, this one. Always having a 10 second cooldown was way too much. Now, oh my god, that is a huge nerf. Uh. This is actually a huge nerf. From 10 seconds to 18 seconds uh, before level 5. Damn, that is a huge nerf. She actually becomes stronger in the late game because her health per level goes from 105 to 115. Do you know what, by the way? This is actually a buff. Well, not quite a buff. This is like more of a mini nerf to Jungle Camille. So Jungle Camille is still going to work because she's going to be super like tankier in the late game because of this. But yeah, this, this was kind of necessary. Like her passive was way too powerful. Fiora. Fiora just wants a worthy opponent, but recently she's been giving her opponents enough opportunities for a fair duel. We're increasing the cooldown of her right post to give those who want to challenge her a, to a duel more chances to play around her, vulnerabilities. Damn. Oh my god, damn. This is a nerf. This is a real nerf. Damn. From 13 seconds at level 1 to 18 seconds. 5 seconds longer. Wow, that is a big nerf. Is she even gonna be playable anymore? She's gonna skill. She's still gonna skill into the late game, but damn, that's that's big. If you miss your first ability in the early game now, you get punished so hard, like insanely hard. She, she, Fiora basically became an even harder champion to play right now. Fizz. Uh, Fizz loves tripping. Blah blah blah. His high mobility and powerful burst damage. Has come across more frustrating than playful recently. To reduce the frustration around Fizz's play pattern, we're pulling back on how frequently he can all in, kill a target, and slip away unscathed. So, oh god, the cooldown of his ultimate is getting ten like a ten is ten seconds longer across the board. This hurts Fizz as well. Hmm, they're going like they're going ham with these nerfs though. Like these are these are pretty substantial nerfs right here. Like um, no, this is th these are nerfs that really hurt the champions at where they're supposed to hurt them because like do you guys remember how they you, how they nerfed Fiora's HP by like 40 HP and stuff like that I mean sure that those are good nerfs but this is the real deal like this is where you really grab a champion by the balls right um yeah th like this is how you do that and first same story this ultimate that's this all in they're nerfing it by 10 seconds across the board so you you're gonna have less all-ins every single game. 
Jarvan. What the hell is happening with Jarvan? Jarvan is a flex pick that he's that has strong, consistent harass in the Baron lane. A powerful gangster from the jungle. He's been flying under the radar as a strong pick for a while, but as players have started to pick up more frequently and optimize his builds, he's risen to be too powerful. Huh? Jarvan is too powerful? So we're taking away some of that lane poking as well as some of his jungle clear speed. Jarvan is too powerful? Really? Alright. I mean, they're reducing his base AD from 64 to 58. That's a 6 AD nerf, so he's gonna do less damage. And they're reducing the base damage on his first ability, which is gonna hurt the most in the early game. Wow. Alright, I mean... Okay, well, that, I guess that kind of kills Baron Lane Jarvan. You can obviously still play him normally in the jungle, because he's going to be tanky, but damn. All right, I didn't actually think that was going to happen. Oh, what are they going to do to Kai'Sa? I actually don't know. Are they, are they really going to nerf her again? The Daughter of the Void has been vulnerable in lane since the changes we made to her. That's her first ability in a previous patch. We're giving some buffs to her scaling to compensate to her for a vulnerable early game and, and to help her take down enemies later on. Oh, yeah, I, I'm ready to play Kai'Sa again. Bonus AD ratio from her first ability from 35% to 40%. So that skills into the late game. Her late game becomes stronger because of that. Bonus attack speed from her third ability is getting buffed in the late game too. All right, all right. I mean... All right, <laughs> nice buff. Oh, let's see. Let's just see how hard they're gonna nerf kill. I mean, I'm. Uh, let's see how hard it is. Kill is a late game carry, but she's been too strong in the early game. What? She's been too strong in the early game. She's also been scaling slightly too well. Uh, slightly. I mean, yeah, yeah, slightly too well. Yeah. So we're cutting back on just how hard she can serve her justice. By the way, I'm doing a 15 skin giveaway. All you have to do to enter the skin giveaway is put down a comment under this video. Also, at the ending of this video, let me know what change see, like is the weirdest to you. I mean, up until now, for me, this this the, the Jarvan uh, change is the weirdest to me. So yeah. So they wait. They're reducing his base attack from 58 to 52. So he's gonna become even weaker in the early game. Attack speed per level. From 270 to 220. So that means he's going to get less scaling attack speed. And armor per level. So he's going to be squishier in the late game. Okay. I mean, maybe. Is this enough? This is going to make him really weak in the early game. Like, even weaker. This, I, I don't know. I think he's still going to be too strong. I think he's still going to be too strong. They should have cut back on his passive of the third ability and stuff like that. They're also reducing the damage from his ultimate. Not, again, not not that much. It's like he's still gonna be way too strong. Uh, Lee Sin is finally gonna get nerfed. That's so amazing. Lee Sin is a popular champion who is strong in high level games, but could use a little bit of help in lower level games. Are you telling me they're buffing him? Base health regeneration from nine per five seconds to ten and a half per five seconds. They're increasing his health regen, and they're buffing the damage on his ultimate. What? They're buffing Lee Sin? Are you kidding me? It's a slight buff, but what? Why would you buff Lee Sin? Oh god, that's crazy. Alright, well, guess Lee Sin still survives, huh? Olaf. Olaf is gonna get a buff, right? The Frel Jordan Berserker has been underperforming for quite some time now. Yes, we know. So we're giving him a giving him a, giving a boost to his damage and chasing potential. Okay, he's he gets more AD per level, so that's going to result into like having around fourteen and a half bonus AD at level fifteen, and then his first ability. Oh, this is a good buff actually. His first ability slows the enemy more. This is actually really good. This is a good buff because that's basically his way to catch an enemy and not allow an enemy to escape to slow them with that first ability. You know the axe. This is actually really good. Like, I feel like he's going to become, you know, decent again. Renekton. Is he going to get uh, nerfed? Sorry, he must get nerfed, right? Uh, Renekton is an unstoppable force in the Baron lane. Dominating in the early game and transitioning into a mid-game menace with relative ease. We're slightly reducing his scaling power and taking away from the uptime on his stump to make him work a bit harder. To slice and dice through his opponent. Attack damage growth. From 5.5 to 4.55. So if you level up, you're not going to get 5.5 attack damage. You're going to get 4.55. Uh, 
Again, this is like a 15 attack damage nerf in the late game. This is gonna hurt him because he already he is already a bad late game champion. Second ability, okay, they nerfed it by one second, the cooldown. Again, this is gonna hurt him. Because the second ability used to be on a on quite a low cooldown when you have when you had some ability haste items, you know, the black cleaver and stuff like that. So this is gonna hurt him. I think he's still gonna be dominating the Baron lane, but he's not it's gonna hurt him. It's just gonna hurt him. Senna, are they finally gonna nerf Senna as well? Senna has been excelling in both ranked play and pro play through the use of her attacks rather than her utility. We're taking away some of her range scaling to lower her ability to deal damage without other opponents being able to respond. And in return, giving Senna a small buff to give her allies some more protection. Ah, they're changing Senna into a support. Additional attack range per 20 souls. No, from 25 to only 15. Ah, oh, there goes my Senna, guys. There goes my Senna. I just... Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that is so sad. I can't play Senna anymore. Senna was like my go-to champion to a hard carry as the support, but with the range nerf, is it still gonna work? Man, that sucks. But you're gonna get a little more shielding. So the shield amount from your ultimate is gonna be uh, from three shield health per soul to four shield health per soul. Shield health per soul. I mean, that shield is gonna be big though. In the late game, it's gonna be huge actually, but this sucks. This is actually an overall pretty big nerf to Senna. Twisted Faith, are they gonna bring him back? Previously, previously we cut down Twisted Faith for his powerful cross-map plays and reliable scaling, particularly in the hands of a skilled player. However, we went overboard with these changes, so we'll we'll be dealing the card master a new hand with some better cards. <laughs> Health per level, okay, he's gonna become tankier in the late game. Wait a minute, he becomes tankier in the late game. Maybe you could build a Ludens Echo now on him instead of a Road of Ages. I don't know. I'll 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 give it all a try. So they're reducing the cooldown. Oh, they're like it. You this used to be six 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 six. The cooldown six seconds. Now it is seven six and a half. Oh, this is like uh, this is gonna make him playable again. This is gonna make Twisted Fate pretty broken again. What the hell? Why? I mean, I think Twisted Fate was fine to me. He he felt fine. He was still strong. Well, guess we're gonna make a Twisted Fate video very soon again, huh? <laughs> Damn! Alright, these changes or oh, free-to-play champions no one really cares about. But wow. Not really what I expected. And again, not a Jin buff. Why are we not getting a stupid Jin buff, man? Change Jin to the PC version of Jin. Just do it. But I still like these changes overall, you know? They're pretty nice changes. So, well, those were the patch notes then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh wait, where's my background? I need to sh I need give me a second. We should remove this filter because, uh, yeah, edit filters, boom, there it is. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next Wild Drift video. Bye bye.